So here is my maximum throwing velo when I was in high school. Senior year of high school, right? Now, obviously, you know, <laughs> from high school to now, I'm older. I'm older. I'm, I'm washed up. No, I'm not. Because I learned how to do this and it took me a long time to learn. It took me some seven years to learn this. Here's the velo that I'm throwing now. How is that possible? How are you getting older but getting better? Well, watch this video and learn about some of the things that I utilize to help me improve my throwing velocity. All right, if you're ready, let's get it. Before we get started, make sure you guys do me a huge favor for the best physical tips on improving your craft as a baseball player, as an athlete on the diamond and for the best mental jewels because yes, that's very, very important. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post every Monday, Thursday, Let's get it. Like 95% of the population that is not where they want to be with their throwing velocity are making some of the common mistakes that we're going to address now. One common mistake is using too much of your arm. So what we should do instead is counter that by using too much of your legs. Right? That sounds weird. Using too much of your legs. These next two drills are going to help you do that. How do we use too much legs? Well, here's two drills to help you do that. Everybody loves football, so let's pretend like we're a quarterback for a second. First one is going to be the QB dropbacks. Uh, all you're going to do is, is have a ball in your hand, you know, you can throw to a wall, you can throw to a gate, you can throw to whoever you want. But the footwork here is important. What we're going to do is we're going to drop back, and when we drop back, we're going to emphasize that hold on that back side because the longer we hold it, the more of our legs we're using. Now all we're going to do is push off and throw. It's as simple as that. Do this in every throwing session, and with time, brick by brick, you're going to realize that, wow, my arm hurts less. My arm is sore less, my, my velo is going up, my legs are stronger, etc. That push off is important. That goes on to the second drill for countering that common mistake, and that's going to be the hop back. Right? You see that with hitting drills a lot. Let's do that with throwing. Right? What we're going to do is we're going to start a ball in our hand again. All we're going to do is hop back, hold that again. The stronger you are with one leg, the better you're going to be in baseball because baseball is utilized with one leg a lot. Especially if you have a leg kick, especially if you're a pitcher. Hop back, hold that, and push off and throw. It's as simple as that, but before we do those two drills, let's make sure that we pay attention to the second tip that I got for you. And the second tip is gonna be keep the ball centered. It's almost obvious, but it's not seen a lot. I don't see it a lot in our youth. Yes, we're teaching our youth to point, step, and throw, but they're carrying that over to our games and to our practices. And now they're engraving that in their muscle memory and in their brains, and they're doing that over and over. So instead of shuffling with the ball ready, shuffle, shuffle, throw, what you need to do is keep the ball centered. But there's a sequence to it. There's a chain to it that you don't want to break. The minute you're here and you start moving your feet, you're breaking a lot of the chain. What you need to do is instead keep the ball centered, shuffle, shuffle, and then time that separation because timing is everything in baseball, right? You can have the most beautiful swing in the world, but if your timing's off, you're not going to get many hits. What you are going to get a lot of is a lot of vibrating hands and or broken bats. All right, so make sure you keep that ball centered when you're performing these exercises. Make sure that ball is centered and you're timing the separation with the step and the throw. The third tip I got for you is the long toss. Long tossing, right, you hear, you know, I, would, I was taught that long tossing stretches out your arm, so I would use more of my arm, right? That would only just tire out my arm more, make it more sore, and just increase my, my risk of injury, which I'm not saying not to do, right? But don't focus on stretching out your arm and using your arm. That was the mistake I made when I was younger, was that I would long toss until my arm was sore. Then I'll come back the next day and do it again. Come back the next day and do it again. It's not about the arm here. It's about the body. When, you're, when you get to a good enough distance, what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize the second step, which is keep the ball center, right? But we're also gonna face our target. We're gonna take one big step forward and then we're gonna turn our body and shuffle. We're not gonna just shuffle from there. That's gonna help us gain more momentum and with time, you're gonna realize that you can move back and still do that same thing. Square up to your target, shuffle, shuffle. Then you can move back, square up, shuffle, shuffle. And before you know it, you're at 300 feet. All right, that's, that's our goal, isn't it? To hit 300 feet. And usually it translates to if you can long toss, if you can throw 300 feet, you can throw 90 miles an hour, all right? That's the way we do it. We gotta make sure that we're utilizing our body and minimizing our arm use at the same time. So if you feel like your arm is sore, if you feel like anything in your arm feels weird, then you should shut it down, come in, just get your release point back down with some pull downs. But for now, the long toss is very important. 
as far as using your body and making sure that your mechanics are sound, all right? I'll make a whole nother video about mechanics, but the gist of it is make sure your shoulders closed, make sure your hips are separated. If you don't know what I mean, I have a video right here that talks a lot about the swing part of the separation, which can still be utilized for the throw. All right, it's, it's all about upper body, lower body separation. Make sure that separation is there. A, I call it cork, uncork. Uh, make sure you cork and then boom, uncork. It's as simple as that. Watch that video. And there's another video that you can do right here. Med balls, medicine balls. This is gonna help you learn what separation is and throw something a little bit heavier than a bat. It's gonna help you learn how to separate your body in sequence and you're gonna see how strong your body actually is. You throw today and you throw so much that you can't handle tomorrow, then you just did all that for nothing because now you're taking one or two days off. And even if you don't take those days off, you're coming back, but you're coming back less than 100%, less than 90%, less than 70%. We don't wanna do that, all right? We wanna make sure our practices, our sessions are optimized and we're doing it as frequently as we can. Hit me with a comment down below, give me a yes if you do wanna throw seeds and throw gas or just hit me with some, some questions that you might have Hopefully I covered everything in this video. If I haven't, if you have any questions, if anything is left to the unknown, you ask me and I'll clarify that with a snap and a, a snap and a snap of a finger ASAP. All right? Yeah, and if you're a baller looking to up his game, if you know any ballers already up his game, share this video. Follow me, Time Is Now Baseball. I'm here to help, all right? I'm a DM away from sharing all the mental jewels that I got for you to help you become physically better, mentally better, everything better about you, all right? So, I'm here to help you get to the next level. Whether it's high school, whether it's college, whether it's pro, whatever it is, I'm here to help you, all right? So, let's get it. So, here are two videos that you can watch all about mindset, right? This one's gonna be mindset about fielding. Here's another one on mindset about training, how you should be training, all right? If you have any questions, you let me know. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell, and let's get to work, because you know what time it is. The time is now.